Hi, I'm Steve from RC Bow Company. Today we're here to talk about the SG110H GS gas scale 16.667. This uh, hull is now vacuum infused. This hull is all carbon fiber. This hull kit has the partial carbon fiber. The cowling is a one piece cowling and the cowlings are hand laid up. They are not vacuum infused. When you order this hull, you can order all carbon fiber hull or partial carbon fiber hull. So this hull is all carbon fiber. The deck is completely carbon fiber. The bottom is completely the transom. So the hull, the complete hull is carbon fiber. So when you order partial carbon fiber, you get a lot of carbon in the hull. The bottom of the hull is approximately 10 inches wide. All the way down the bottom is carbon fiber. The sponsons are all carbon fiber. The transom is carbon fiber. The top deck and inside the sponson is carbon fiber. And I put carbon fiber on the top deck here to help keep it from flexing. But it still has a little bit of flex where if it's all carbon, it'll be a little stiffer. Another standard feature with this hull kit is that I spray clear coat in the mold first and then I do the vacuum infusion. So this way this gives you a surface that you just need to lightly sand. You can put, I suggest, primer in it and then sand the primer down and then you can go right to your base coat or if you're going to do a single stage paint. The cowling is also, as I said before, it's, not, it's hand laid up but it also has a clear coat on it as well. Okay, now we're going to show you the inside of the hull. I'm going to talk about the wood rails that come standard in this hull. And we're going to talk about the quarter inch piece of aircraft ply that I'm going to supply with this. Now generally this, I can epoxy this into the hull for you so it's, it's glued into the boat. Uh, several customers uh, rather have it just loose so when they mount their strut they glue it into place. You can make this piece smaller you whatever however you decide what strut you decide to go with you can choose how you're going to go ahead and put it in and the size you want to make it so the wood rails are eighth inch they used to be quarter inch in my hulls but now for the for this style gas scale they will be one eighth inch uh, Mike from ML Boatworks worked with me he made these for me and they are laser cut they fit the boat really nice and then as you see, as you come up here, what I did was I added a quarter inch piece of uh, ply, aircraft ply, to make this stronger up here. So, because when you're mounting your engine, you want this really strong. An eighth inch wouldn't be enough, so I put the quarter inch on either side of it so you can mount it. Then there's this bulkhead that I put in here. And the reason the bulkhead's here is when you put your IV bag in there, there's a hook up underneath there and I put a bungee cord in there, you slide it underneath there and your fuel lines will come out through here one can go to your carburetor and if you put a gas cap you can uh, put the other one there or just put a plug on it and also which you might be able to see inside the hull here are bulkheads that run across to make the strength in this hull the one with the turn fin is quarter inch and the other three are eighth inch this is without a built-in radio box. And this is how it would come. Everything else is the same. Eighth inch plywood rails, quarter inch up front here for mounting the engine. Now when you order the hull with the built-in radio box, what you're going to get is the radio box that's built in to the hull. It's going to have a Lexan lid on it. And I'm not going to epoxy the lid on and the reason being that I'm not going to do that is because it gives you more room to build your radio box your servos and how you're going to lay it out and I'm going to do a separate video on that standard on all my hull kits I use a quarter inch piece of aluminum and glass it into the sponson in here so this way you can drill and tap into it for your turn fin that was some general information on these new hull kits again these are vacuum infused and that is a process where they are under vacuum and the resin is pulled through so this way there is no excess resin in these hulls which makes them really light and strong if you have any questions you can email me at info at rcboatcompany.com 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you again.